Are you ready to combine eyes with great video? Here are the best adventure games to play in 2020. Adventure can cover a pretty broad range of titles. Sometimes it makes you think of puzzle-filled point-and-click games. Others, it's that nebulous promise of new places, mild peril, and romance. And in this list, Maddie and I will be looking at 10 games that offer a rich variety of experiences, whether your interest is Arthurian legend, dystopian futures, or whatever this is. But before we get started, I'm duty-bound to make a list-appropriate analogy and encourage you to use mouse pointer with subscribe button to join the Logitech G party. And while you're at it, why not ring the notification bell so you know when our new videos land. Suitcases packed, martinis chilled, lovely. Here are 10 great adventure games to play in 2020. Pendragon is a strategic adventure game based on Arthurian legend from the incredible Inkle team that brought us 80 Days and Heaven's Vault. And that should give you some indication of what to expect. Impeccable storytelling in a world where every decision you make advances the narrative in some vivid and unexpected way. Here your choices end up changing how you fight, opening up new abilities based on the decisions you make. And you'll need to think deeply about what you do. One wrong move here can see your legendary heroes shift by one of Sir Mordred's lackeys. But death here is rarely the end. Each game is a story in itself, so your tale could see Guinevere and Arthur reunited, Lancelot forgiven, or a nervous old lady facing off against Mordred because everyone else is dead. It's a smart, reactive, endlessly replayable escapade through Dark Ages Britain. of classic 90s point-and-click adventures will find a neon home in Virtua Verse. It taps into everything we love. There's no hand-holding for starters, so if you miss a single clue, you'll be backtracking to find out what household utensils you missed. But that never makes it frustrating. Instead, it just keeps you eagle-eyed and curious, checking everything you can, no matter how strange or spurious. And it's worth it just to get another taste of what the world has to offer. Although maybe we'll pass on the old box of noodles. Thanks. It's an incredibly atmospheric game, from the constant rain hammering down to the satisfying beats and effects from the sci-fi world around you. This all serves to immerse you in the cyberpunk setting, with the story drawing you in until you start to forget which reality is yours. We have virtual reality headsets, Check. Drones? Check. Gangs of Technomancers? Probably check. Over the Alps feels like stepping inside one of those striking 60s travel posters for exotic locales that can't possibly be as nice in real life. And that's a superficial way of describing a game with a glamorous, reactive story told via postcards written in invisible ink. And it's no surprise the narrative here is so strong, given that it's penned by alumni from the likes of Inkle and Failbetter. Like all good stories, what starts as an alluring jaunt round 1930s Switzerland soon spirals into a taut Hitchcockian thriller full of twists and turns and double crosses. Before long, you're evading the police, sneaking into castles, and becoming intertwined with dangerous femme fatales. Or maybe not, it is your story after all. It's the sort of dashing spy thriller you'll want to play while drinking a dry martini, a crisp, refreshing hit of alpine espionage. Paradise Killer is a surreal world filled with petulant and emotional gods. At the heart of their council, a brutal murder takes place that many believe was committed by an obvious suspect, a boy covered in blood found lying at the scene. But like all good detective stories, there's more to it than that. Our protagonist, Lady Love Dies, interviews various goat-headed and demon-possessed suspects, armed with a sassy attitude and a laptop. But Paradise Killer doesn't do any of the heavy lifting for you. Finding the links between the clues is down to you, leaving you to make your own deductions about what really went down that fateful night. Then you can freely explore the vaporwave chaos, which feels like a real place despite the jarring oddities. 
floating discus in the distance and arms sprouting out of a flower bed? Seems about right. Who are you? <laughs> this hardly seems real, does it? Here we are in 2020, 24 years after the release of the original, talking about a sequel to one of the most influential games ever made. Doesn't the fact that she's dead distress you? No. She's a lot less trouble than when she was alive. But if you're bracing yourself for a cynical cash-in, allow yourself a sigh of relief. This comes from Revolution's Charles Cecil, creator of the legendary Broken Sword series, and original artist Dave Gibbons. Yes, the same Dave Gibbons who did Watchmen. As you can probably tell by now, this is a 3D take on the 2D original, but it preserves the cyberpunk heart of the first game. You can expect tangled conspiracies, challenging puzzles, and the wry humour that characterises much of Revolution's work. And somehow those same themes now feel more relevant than ever, with Beyond a Steel Sky exploring subjects such as social control, AI and surveillance. Now whereabouts do we sign up for a new Lore of the Temptress game? Master Graham, may I say, sir is looking even more fabulous than usual today. Why, thank you. If you have any interest in Slavic folklore, this is the choice for you. And if not, then Roki will make you. This utterly charming adventure game follows Tove as she tracks down her missing brother in a long forgotten wilderness. It's populated with the weirdest, lesser known monsters from across frozen fairy stories, but you'll soon learn the common trait is that most want to eat you, be it in a nice warm tea or hearty stew. <gasps> You spend your time exploring the snowy landscape picking up clues, and using them to solve puzzles, help the various hungry inhabitants, and gradually get closer to tracking down your little brother. The art style is like a picture book that's come to life, sometimes with too much life. Which is fitting as it's something anyone of any age can enjoy. And despite this, it still has parts that keep any adult puzzling and creatures that make you consider checking under the bed. Despite there being no game, opening up Wrong Dimension is an incredibly fun adventure. The fourth wall-breaking antics start from the moment you load up the menu, where you'll soon discover thinking outside the game screen is the only way forward. The settings icon becomes a useful cog later on, and a piece of smash glass from a TV screen helps to peel back the user face of the game you've broken into. What have you done now? Did you take off one of the game's icons? At every turn, the puzzle solving encourages you to think in game-breaking ways. Well, it would if there was, you know, actually a game. It's better to go into the experience not knowing too much, so we won't give the story away here, but know that there are six chapters of this utterly unique Not Really A Game. Each one pays homage to a classic video game trope, from a point-and-click detective adventure to a pixelated RPG. Not playing a game has never been more fun. Not playing a game? Not not playing and never playing a game? Never playing a not game. Let's just keep going. Unbelievable! that you're the most incompetent hero in the history of video games? If you're a big fan of 2015's Life is Strange, then it's no surprise that Tell Me Why is the 2020 adventure game for you. Set in an atmospheric snowy town in Alaska, you follow twins Tyler and Ashley as they head to their childhood home in the hopes of selling it. Whoa. No place like home. Time and distance have changed a few things, but their supernatural bond isn't one of them. And I mean actual magic, not just an odd twin language they invented. It allows them and you to rewatch key memories from the past, which is a painful and confusing experience when they start to remember things differently. Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. As you have control of both characters, it's up to you to decide whose recollection seems right and make outcome-altering decisions. It's a deep story with secrets and fairy tale clues to unlock as you explore. But like any fairy tale, there's darker things to watch out for. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. 
It's not, okay? My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Kriegs is a magical adventure from the creators of Machinarium. It stars an unnamed protagonist who discovers a portal to a strange other world behind his peeling wallpaper. And unlike the rest of us who just Google plasterers in my area and try to forget about it, Kriegs has you exploring the enigmatic labyrinth that lies beyond the boundaries of his bedsit. It seems simplistic to start with, to the point you wonder how it'll ever get challenging. But Kriegs does a fine job of drip-feeding you new forms of interaction, from grumpy metal dogs who turn into drawers, to tangled worlds of interlocking ladders and locational puzzles. There's always a sense of something larger and more threatening just out of sight, sometimes in an ominous rumble, others via something far more explicit. It's also a fantastic experience with headphones. And just look at that, there's a link on screen now. How convenient! It's a testament to the writing in other waters that the world you explore feels tactile and alive, despite its simple appearance. It turns out that the design of it all only engages your imagination deeper, allowing you to get lost in this alien world unfolding before you. Here, you're an AI system that helps steer a xenobiologist through a mysterious new planet as she tracks down a fellow lost scientist, and in doing so, discovers a bustling ocean of life. Your controls are simple, allowing you to concentrate on exploring everything the seafloor has to offer, from disappearing into caves to scanning and cataloging the new creatures that appear in your path. It's incredibly calming, not just to look at, but to experience. And for those of us excited at the possibility of discovering alien life, it's nice to finally have the classic Doombringers replaced with gentle, floaty creatures much better. So, those were 10 of the best adventure games to play in 2020. Let us know what stories you're looking forward to playing with a nice cup of something, and if you enjoyed, please give it a like. For more videos all about games, make sure to subscribe to Logitech G. And if you do already subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss when another video lands.